guys, I am Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Ram Man, Heroic Human Battering Ram. This is another one of the deluxe releases in the Origins lineup, so it's about a $5 price hike. Uh, but what we get here is a larger card back, and we do get some additional accessories that the standard releases do not get. Now, Ram Man was just a standard release in the original toy line, uh, but here it looks like they included a new swappable head, a swappable hand, and an extra axe weapon that were not included with the vintage. Um, so I guess that's what makes him deluxe this time around but he is still spring loaded he's got a body that blasts back just like on the vintage toy uh, also I love the artwork up here this is very reminiscent to some of the later deluxe figures in the vintage line where they added the extra bit of character artwork up there so I think that is fantastic and as we roll around to the backside same thing here with some amazing artwork at the top where you've got Ram Man just ramming into my favorite vehicle the Roton here Maybe this is a, a sneak peek, something to come. I'd love to see another Rotan get a release here in Origins. Also, Faker's up here, which is great. And I love that his armor and sword kind of have the pink color instead of the orange color, which is a great nod to the vintage card backs. Really, really cool stuff. And then down below that, uh, we have a cross-sell of the other deluxe figures as well as a beast and an action feature call-out. That's an actual action feature callout on this guy because Ram Man still has his spring feature, just like on the vintage toy. So I'm excited to get this guy opened up so we can see how that feature works. So let's do that right now. So before we get to the figure, it is worth noting that Ram Man does come with an included mini comic. Now this is actually the exact same mini comic that was packaged with Battle Armor He-Man and Skeletor. So if you already have those two, it is the same book. I believe the same book is also the one that's going to be included with Clamp Champ. Uh, because I guess all four of those deluxe figures are part of the same wave. Um, this is one of the other things that I really like that Mattel has started doing though. There's a little instruction sheet that's packed in that shows you which parts are removable parts. Now, I've mentioned in previous videos that the whole mixing and matching action feature is really cool, and I thought it was weird that that's not really promoted anywhere on the Origins packaging. So it's kind of nice to see that Mattel's including these little inserts that actually do show you that the parts are meant to be removed and swapped. So I like that. So here's our deluxe Ram Man outside of the packaging. If we bring in the tape measure, you can see he stands right at five and a half inches tall. So that does make him just a little bit shorter than the standard figures in this particular line. However, it puts him right on par with the size of his vintage action figure. And we will see that more in just a little bit. So the overall design of this guy uh, is honestly really great. You could tell this is one of those things where Mattel just looked at the vintage figure for inspiration like they've done for everything through Origins and kind of gave it that updated look. But I really feel like Ram Man benefited from that as one of the best figures so far in this line. Um, because the original Ram Man figure was very soft in its overall sculpt and look, and it was also a very unique figure for that line because of its build and its action feature. So a lot of the design elements here on Mattel's figure looks really nice and really does feel like an updated Ram Man. Uh, this has totally got that thing going on where I feel like a lot of people will pick this up and go, oh, I used to have this as a kid, and do that thing where their memory makes them think this is the same figure. But when we put them side by by side, you'll be able to see uh, the updates that are done to this particular figure here. So the colors look pretty good for the most part. Uh, matches up with the vintage quite a bit where we got like the red tunic. Uh, you can see that the armor on the top is silver. It's not quite as shiny of a silver as on the vintage toy, but it is shinier. I like that it's not just a dull flat gray on this particular figure. And that same silver can be seen on his wrist bracers and his unique skull belt buckle there, which is pretty cool. Uh, I do have a little bit of silver overspray you can see kind of coming up onto the red of the tunic above the belt buckle uh, but that's the only place where it's not clean everything else looks pretty good uh, and that's because most of it is just cast in the colors that each of these pieces should be um, you'll notice that the armor up on top is flexible 
and pliable over the shoulders. Uh, the head itself is like a standard uh, hard head like we've seen on the other figures. So the reason that this armor up here is softer is because he does include some articulation that we didn't have on the vintage. That's right, we actually do have those ball-like hinges at the shoulders, just like we've seen on all of the other figures in Origins. We can also swivel the elbow, we can bend the elbow, we can swivel the wrist, as well as we got that hinge joint at the wrist there. So a lot of articulation in the arms that matches up with the rest of the figures in this line. The head is on a ball joint, but the sculpt of the armor and the helmet there does hinder that movement quite a bit. You can see we can kind of turn the head left and right, but these pieces of his helmet are getting in the way. You can see that these are soft and pliable as well. It's weird how it stretches his face. It's, ooh, it's a little creepy looking actually. Um, um, so you probably don't want to like tug on that too much. I would imagine that some of that softer plastic could probably tear. So be careful of that. But this rest of the head up here does feel much more solid. Um, so the only other articulation we've really got is we do have swivels and slight bends at the knees, um, but you can see it doesn't bend very far. And there's no articulation at the thighs or anything like that because of the action feature, which honestly makes the articulation at the knees useless because they don't bend that far anyway. And you're not gonna be able to really get them posed any other way, really. I mean, look, you, it doesn't even bend enough to make much of a difference. It's not like we can get a good running pose. So uh, the articulation of the knees, I mean, it's there this time. He doesn't just have a single stuck together leg <laughs> like in the vintage, but you know, it can't really get a lot of movement out of the articulation that is added anyway. Um, so first, let's go ahead and talk about that action feature then. It works very similar to the vintage where when you press the figure down, he clips and locks into place. Now the vintage action figure had a little button on the back of his foot that when you pressed it, he would work as a battering ram. This one's a little bit different. Instead of the button, if you press down again and then release, he will spring upwards. Just like that. It honestly works pretty good. And if we're doing it, say here, we'll, uh, we'll uh, attack poor Beast Man back here. So if we set Beast Man up back here and I kind of like aim Ram Man, watch this. Yeah, see that works pretty good. So I can definitely imagine uh, kids having fun with that particular action feature right there. Uh, it's fun to see it still included because there aren't a ton of action features in this line so far. And sometimes the action features made the original Masters of the Universe figures what they were. So I totally approve of Ram Man having his action feature again. So let's talk about those removable parts. I showed you that paper that showed that some of the parts are still removable on here. Um, so it's not exactly the same as all the other figures, but we do have a head that pops off and that's because we have an interchangeable head that I'm gonna show you in just a bit. It's a lot more shallow, obviously, because of the shape of it uh, than the other uh, heads in this particular line. But check this out. You can still also remove the arms at the shoulder. You can also remove the wrists, um, the hands at the wrists because we got swappable hands. But uh, hey, being able to pop the arms out of socket and the fact that these pegs are the same size as the other shoulder pegs throughout Origins, well, hilarity can ensue. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with this. I mean, you can give the big oversized goofy looking arms to He-Man and he can kind of have almost like a Popeye thing going on there. You can kind of put Ram Man's head on the standard bodies throughout the line. It does pop on the ball joint, but it looks a little strange. Uh, vice versa, it doesn't work as well. Like the He-Man head doesn't really pop onto the ball joint on Ram Man, but it can sit there. But you can pop the standard arms into the sockets on the Ram Man figure. And you know what? If you're just giving regular arms to Ram Man, I gotta be honest, it looks kinda cool. He looks good with just like the normal buffed out He-Man type arms. So I don't know, definitely some mixing and matching potential, if not for anything other than for a good laugh. All right, so since this is a deluxe figure, he does come with several accessories. Let's go ahead and start with his basic axe. So this is his classic weapon that came straight out of the vintage toy line. Uh, like we've seen with a lot of the weapons, there's no painted detail. It's just molded in a flat gray plastic, which you'll see on uh, both of his weapons there. Uh, but he's got a gripping right hand out of the box so he can hold on to that axe. 
Now, he does come with an additional swappable gripping hand for the left. You'll see he's got a closed fist, so you can pop this out. You can put in the extra gripping hand if you want. That way, he can hold the axe in either hand, or you can use it to hold his secondary weapon, which is another axe. But this one is a double-bladed axe. So, now we can have Ram Man running into battle, dual-wielding axes if you want to. Or, there's one more fun thing we can do. You can actually take that double bladed axe and plug it into the other axe and you can make a larger double bladed weapon blades on either side there um, unfortunately because of his articulation you can't really get any good two-handed poses his arms just don't come together that way because he doesn't really have like bicep swivels or anything like that uh, but still it's kind of a fun concept uh, we've got this double ended weapon that we can now provide to ram man if you feel like he needs extra blades for battle one thing I will say is I kind of wish we got interchangeable fists for both hands. Um, I don't know why Mattel only gave us one interchangeable hand. I think it would have been really cool if we could have had closed fists as an option since he does use his body as a battering ram. Uh, maybe it would be cool to actually be able to pose him with two closed fists. But unfortunately, we only get a closed fist for the left side. Now, he does also come with that interchangeable head that I mentioned, so you can pop off the normal Ram Man head. You can pop on the alternate one where he's just got a face cover there so that only his eyes are showing in his helmet. So I guess if he needs some extra protection when charging into battle, you've got that extra little bit there covering his face. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Let's go ahead and stand this brand new Ram Man alongside the vintage action figure. And now you can really see what I was talking about early on in the video. Uh, he stands almost identical in height. His build and his look is very similar, but honestly, Mattel did a really good job of updating the sculpt on this guy. Uh, I think it's really cool looking at these two side by side so you can see that they took the idea of the vintage figure Year and just updated it for this new one. Now, as I've been doing in all my videos, I do also want to stand him alongside the Masters of the Universe Classics Ram Man, which was a beast of a figure. He was so big. Uh, so it's really interesting looking at these two side by side. Very different looks for the character there, but I do always like to show uh, just these different interpretations in action figure form. And on that note... The Classics Ram Man was huge. He actually stood taller than the seven inch action figures in the line. And a lot of people remember Ram Man being a short little guy specifically because of his appearance in the cartoon series. So I thought it might be fun to stand this new Origins Ram Man alongside the Masters of the Universe Classics He-Man just to show you guys what that looks like in case any of you prefer the shorter Ram Man. Maybe you can add this to your Classics collection or taking that a step further since it was that way in the film Filmation series, we'll put them next to the Filmation figures from the Classics line, the Club Grayskull figures, and now you can get a more Filmation style Ram Man because of his height and everything. So I like this. I think that that really gives this figure a lot more potential to be displayed many different ways for lots of different Masters of the Universe fans out there. So there you guys go. There is my look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Deluxe Ram Man action figure. Now, all in all, I don't feel like he comes with so much stuff that he feels like he needs to be a deluxe figure. I mean, we got an extra weapon, an extra head, and an extra hand, and that boosted this price by $5. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way it is. It seems like anytime we get an alternate head, they're basically part of the deluxe line. So that's just the way it is in Origins. But aside from that... I like this figure. I think he's really fun. He's a great modern interpretation of the vintage action figure. And as I showed you, I think there are many display options for this guy through various Masters of the Universe toy lines. Heck, if you even want to fit him in with your vintage figures, I mean, that's something you can do as well. So I think Ram Man turned out pretty great. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching this video. So Ram Man is hitting Target stores right now. That's where a lot of people are finding him. But I pre-ordered mine from Big Bad Toy Store. So I will go ahead and link down there if you guys want to check out their pre-orders as well. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And until next time. The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is available for pre-order now. This official guidebook is published by Dark Horse Books and features over 750 pages of photos and information on your favorite He-Man and She-Ra action figures. 
And don't miss out on the exclusive bundle pack available for pre-order now from PowerCon. This bundle includes the official guide as well as an exclusive character guide supplement that you won't be able to buy anywhere else. Don't miss out. You have the power.